Good evening, everybody. This is WREZ914. Mark in Houston as net control uh, as we're waiting for Darren527 to join us uh, to run the, the net. Uh, this Sunday uh, at 6 Mountain, 7 Central, and 8 Eastern, uh, this net meets. To be part of this net, you first must have checked in through one of the regional nets or at the MyGMRS network or online via mygmrs.com slash net. For this net, there's no roll call or open check-in. This is a dedicated net, meaning all traffic should be coordinated by net control. If there is any emergency or party traffic at any point, feel free to break in at any time. Also, a reminder to let the repeater carriers drop between transmissions due to the large number of repeaters tied in this evening. Does anyone have any general announcements or messages for the National Net? Please give your call sign now. All right, nothing hurts. Tonight's topic is as follows. Let's talk about handy talkies. Uh, yeah, give us the information that you have on Handy Talkies. Tell us what you're using or what you want to use or anything Handy Talkies goes. We'll now begin the roundtable discussion for the stations checked in for this net. If you'd like to make suggestions for future topics, feel free to throw out any ideas during your turn. We'll start with the guys over in uh, AL, is that Alabama? Rick, WRKG277 in Alabama. Yeah, hey, Mark, WRC527, I think I'm back. Hey, there's Darren. I'm going to throw it back to Darren. Go ahead, Darren. We were just starting uh, the, uh, the the table. Yeah, I got it, Mark. That's why we have backups. Uh, <laughs> I was actually conducting the net right on time, but for some reason I had a stuck client. So sorry about that, guys. Um, it's amateur hour here. Uh, let's. Uh, we're uh, another Alabama station. WRKI eight seven seven Melvin. Are you with us? That almost sounded like he was trying to get in there. Let's move over to Arizona. WRKN421, Kyle. Yeah, no worry, Kyle. You're breaking up, actually. So if you could uh, kind of stare into where the sun would normally be and uh, point your antenna. The uh, the subject is let's talk about handy talkie. So get that handy talkie in the right uh, polarization there and uh, tell us what your thoughts are. Yeah, perfect. Thanks, Kyle. Um, let's go over to another Arizona station, Kino, WQZN656. Let's talk about handy talkies, Kino. WQZN656. Uh, good evening, Matt. Um, I know that there's probably a lot of gnashing of teeth about the the, uh, the UV5R, especially in GMRS, but uh, I do uh, – I understand that uh, – the tri-band model of that, the one that does the uh, 1.25 meter uh, band, uh, is much friendlier at the higher frequencies, and uh, when set up properly, is capable of about about seven watts average transmit power uh, up in the uh, up in the higher frequencies. So I thought that was kind of interesting. It seems to be a, a much better radio for that uh, 
for the UHF band. Yeah, I haven't actually seen one of those in the flesh, but I have heard that they're uh, that they're good. I mean, you know, people bash the uh, Chinese radios all the time, but I've got a couple of them. So uh, let's go over to and thanks, Kino. Let's go over to WRCU five two seven, Darren in Arizona. Oh, hey, that's me. So I just recently bought some Redivis RT seventy six P's. Actually, I bought three of them uh, for my uh, my sister and brother in law. And uh, uh, P must stand for pain in the rear side because. Uh, you have to flash the firmware right when you get it, um, but they are GMRS radios, and uh, they do work good. So if you get them off Amazon, you're probably going to have to flash the firmware to, to, so you can actually set that thing up without a programming cable. Um, but all the Baofeng, Kenwood-style programming cables will work. So, uh, yeah, uh, RT76, really cool if you're technical. Uh, so let's go over to WRDR672, Mike in Arizona. I uh, was personally a big fan of the Retivas uh, RT23. It's uh, cross-band repeat capable. It was a pretty nifty little thing till I burned it up. And um, I, I've owned several UV5Rs. Um, they're as uh, indestructible as they are uh, disposable. And one that I would never own is uh, the, the Zastone knockoff of the um, Yesu UVX8 or something like that. That was a nightmare. Yeah, great advice on the Zastone there. That's uh, kind of what I was hoping would come out here. Uh, and, uh, yeah, the RT23, I'm kind of familiar with that, but never owned it. But thanks, Mike. Uh, it's good hearing you in there, man, especially you're getting into the machine for sure. Uh, now, uh, let's go over to WRFU519, Doug in Arizona. Nope, no traffic there. Let's go to John in Arizona, WRJA611. Yeah, this is uh, 611. I'm running the, uh, the Ocean AG805G. Uh, and uh, just with this antenna, I've had it for, it came out, and it's a great radio for mobile, and yeah, I'm impressed. I put on the antenna, I think it's a Nagoya, the 771G, and uh, actually, I have words reception, and then just go back to it. But yeah, that's, it's a good radio. The only thing I don't like about it is you can't uh, program it in the field. Yeah, I've heard a lot of stuff that's the 805G, I believe, uh, and that, that Nagoya antenna is about three inches longer than everything else. Um, so, yeah, thanks for uh, for giving a little uh, bit of a shout-out there for that Ushan or Wuxon or whatever you want to call it, W-O-U-X-U-N, I believe, 805G. Uh, appreciate that, John. Let's go over to well, – got a couple of California stations, W-R-K-H-273, Scott. All right, nothing heard there. Another California station, WRKJ434, Brian. Okay, we got a, quite a few Florida stations checked in here, so let's go to our first Florida station, WRHY868, uh, Glenn. W-R-H-Y, 868 Glenn, uh, just north of Palm Beach, no traffic. All right, got you in there, Glenn. Thank you, sir. Uh, always good to hear from you guys in Florida. Let's go to W-R-K-D, 310, Carlos. All right, how about WRKE843, Bill in Florida? All right, how about WRKL916, William in Florida? All right, not hearing much there. Let's go over to Chris, WRKM850, also in Florida.
All right. How about WRKM887, uh, Augustine in Florida? Roger that. Augustine here. Whiskey Romeo Kilo Mary 887. I'm listening in. I'm on my uh, Baofeng F8HD, and uh, I put a Nagoya 771 antenna, and the signal sounds really good here in uh, the Treasure Coast, Florida, Port St. Lucie. Uh, how is my signal coming through? Yeah, you're coming through good. That's the Nagoya 771G, or uh, tell us a little bit about that antenna. Uh, Augustine. Roger that. I do believe it's the 70, uh, 771G. I picked it up off of Amazon. Uh, I'm a newcomer to ham radio. My uh, buddy in uh, Palaka got me interested in this, so I uh, went online and picked up a couple of uh, Baofeng F8 HPs, one for myself, and I gave one to my son who's in Southwest. Florida, and uh, he asked me an interesting question, which might be a future topic to get information on. He asked me, because uh, I had texted him and said, I just looked on the uh, my GR MRS map, and I don't see any repeaters uh, close to um, Cape Coral, Fort Myers. The closest one that I think I saw was, uh, there's one in Venice, and... Uh, somewhere up a little bit north of there. I think it's permission required. So he asked me, uh, what would it take to... Now, if you timed it out, Augustine, go ahead, 887. So yeah, the question uh, my son asked me was, uh, what would it take to get a GMS, GMRS tower out there in that area, and I couldn't give him um, a definite answer other than to say that if enough people petitioned the county for it, they might, you know, have one installed on a local tower out there, or if somebody with, you know, enough uh, resources to do it privately. But uh, I guess that, uh, again, that would be uh, a topic of future discussion. Uh, and this is Whiskey Romeo Kilo Mary 887 transmitting out of Port St. Lucie, Florida. All right. I appreciate it, Augustine. I'm not sure what the monkeys were doing back. But, uh, yeah, uh, stick around for the afternet, and um, I'm sure there will be some discussion about, uh, you know, what you got to do to get a repeater up. Um, Appreciate the comments. Let's go to WRFV426. This is going to be John and Georgia, our only Georgia station. John, are you there? All right, we're going to move on to our Illinois stations. We've got a lot of them, so I'm just going to start working through them. we got WQUY356, Patrick, in Illinois. Go ahead. Yeah, right, hello, Kevin. actually, it's, w w it's Whiskey Quebec Uniform Yankee 536. I think you might have said it backwards, but um, am I making it in there okay? Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, I got that wrong. WQUI uh, 536. Go ahead, Patrick. The floor is yours, man. I was going to say, I got involved or heard about Bofang radios years ago when a security company at a music festival was trying to use them, and uh, I was never a big fan of them. I'm sure they're great for getting people interested and in getting started in the hobby. Um, I'm kind of a Kenwood and Hytera guy, personally. Nothing wrong with, you know, what you like. WQI five three six. Got it. Thank you, Patrick. I appreciate that. Um uh your experience uh, with those radios. Let's go over to Vince. Uh W R A L nine three nine. Go ahead, Vince. Go 
WRAL 939, Vince from Oak Forest, Illinois. Thank you. Um, of course, it's my Motorola, my uh, 1250. And um, you know, I, I picked up this. Um, it's not bad. I kind of, I kind of hang with it. It's the uh, the radio. It's it, it, the Diddy. I never can say it. Radio. D D I T Y. It's the GS five B. I heard about it. Um, I like the fact that it's kind of easy, easily programmable, manually, and you can use Bluetooth on an app, which I like. So if I'm out and about and I'm having, it's easy to do. Um, hey, I thought of something. I got a a, a PSA real quick. Yeah, go ahead. Tell us your PSA. I meant to mention this on our regional net, and it's not been an issue or anything. I just, maybe because it's the beginning of the year, but in regards to your uh, GMRS license, make sure it's up to date and valid. Um, I know it's easy to forget and not, up, you know, renew it. And just remember it's not up to anybody else to remind you it's not up to repeater owners or your club or your group your license is your responsibility so whoever's using it it's on you um, so it's just just a, a reminder and I think if you want to keep your call sign you got to do it maybe ahead of time if you let it expire if you want to try to get that call sign again I think it's difficult or you got to pay or something so just putting that out there man but thanks WRAL 939, back to you, sir. Yeah, hey, Vince, always good to hear you in there, man, and I know you're a fan of Motorola's for sure, the 1250. And it's Radiotity, I think, is what it is. But, yeah, they could have named that, that company something better. S5B, perfect. Let's go over to Doug in Illinois, WRFL 449. It's your turn, sir. Right channel. All right, I had somebody breaking in there. Is that Doug or is that somebody else? All right, let's go over to WRFP 921. David in Illinois, go ahead. It's your turn. Green 921, Dave. I, uh, I have a Ball thing. And I actually have, uh, I can't remember what model it is because it's probably about 15 years old. Uh, Yay, two, uh, dual band. Yeah, the ball thing is what it is. I mean, you can't really expect much for 30 bucks since most of the other companies charge just that for the battery. So, yeah, it is what it is. Perfect. Thanks, Dave. Uh, I know the AC probably got a little bit better receiver, but the Bofang will get you through, man. Let's go over to Artie, uh, WRFR 502. Hey, man, uh, it's your turn in Illinois still. WRFR 502 to net control. Well, I have uh, two HTs. Uh, no, I'll take that back. Uh, I have three HTs. They're 11 meter CB. I got a TRC 234 Radio Shack. Really good radio. I don't know. Some of you young, younger guys don't realize that uh, Radio Shack used to have really good radios before they filed bankruptcy. And then <clears throat> I've got um, a Cobra. And uh, it's a uh, WX-75, I believe that's what it is. Uh, it's a nice little radio. It's got a scanner on it for 11 meters. Um, and it really has a good uh, ears. You know, you've got a good antenna on it. It can definitely pick up the DX. 
I use that to see when the band is open. I have another 11 meter that I just bought from Justin, WRFR912. And it's uh, General Electric. I didn't even know if General Electric made uh, 11 meter radios. It's, it's an HT. And it, it, it's a nice one. I like it. Uh, it's really a, a nice radio. And then uh, I've got a Radio Shack HTX 245. Uh, that's uh, 2 meters and 70 centimeters hand band. Let me uh, break it. And then I have an Alinko. I uh, just uh, bought it, uh, I think, in the summer. It was on sale at the uh, Ham Radio Outlet. Now, this is uh, part 90 uh, HT. So uh, I can uh, use it for GMRS and I can use it for the ham band or, or whatever. Uh, it's a digital uh, analog radio. Uh, it has DMR on it. I haven't been too successful with DMR. I'm going to have to get a hot spot. What I started out with, uh, in terms of HTs, uh, I got the, uh, the Bofang UV-5R, the infamous UV-5R. It's really a good radio. I don't care what anybody says. It's made in China. It, it uh, stands up. Al grab a bang. It's a, it's a BFR3. It's quad band, and that's a nice radio. It also has, you know, both both bangs have the uh, the uh, uh, FM type uh, radio, public radio, commercial radio. Uh, you can listen to it on that. And, All right, thanks, uh, Artie. Uh, we appreciate that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Artie, are you there? Artie, we're going to move along, sir. You know, that, that's about it. Uh, I, have, I have a business radio. It's also a radio shack, but it's on the business channel frequencies. I like to listen to those. And uh, I don't know what the man number man. is on this one. Uh, it's a nice little radio. It's really a, it's a commercial type uh, radio. So with that in mind, I'll uh, go back to you. Uh, yeah, control, this is WRFR502, and thanks for doing the net. Yeah, our everybody out there. Uh, nice hearing you all on the radio. We really have got a large number of people now. It's just increasing every day. So with that in mind, net control, this is WRFR502. Back to you. All right, 502, thank you so much. Let's move on to WRFR 912. Justin in Illinois, now's your chance. WRFR 912, thank you for running the net. And, uh, yeah, I, like most people, started out with the UV5R Baofeng radio. Got a few of those still around. Come in handy for certain things, but uh, soon after that, <clears throat> Excuse me, I, uh, I started looking for something a little better and uh, ended up settling on the ICOMs. ICOM 4161DS is the uh, model that I, I run. Uh, basically because it's the same as uh, pretty much the equivalent of the mobile unit that I use, uh, 40, uh, 60, 61Ds in my vehicle, and, and I'm talking on the base right now. Um, so anyway, that's what I run for the most part, is the ICOM 4161s now, and uh, I just actually got today a new, uh, well, a used, I should say, uh, uh, ICOM, it's an ICF-60V, and it's kind of a just smaller version of the others, uh, the 4161s. Uh, 
So uh, looking forward to messing around with that. But uh, yeah, those are really good radios, very solid. I've dropped them many times. They they don't seem to be hurt by it. So uh, and they got all kinds of options and, and uh, features that are just crazy. So anyway, uh, back to you. Thank you again for running the net. WRFR nine one two. All right, perfect, Justin. I appreciate those uh, suggestions with the ICOM gear. Uh, we're still in Illinois, folks, and uh, we got 30 minutes to go. So we're going to go to Amanda, WRFX367. Go ahead, Amanda. Break, Carol. WRFX367. All right, you're a break there. Amanda, honestly, I really have no opinion on any of it. I just get whatever Patrick, W-Q-U-Y, three six seven five three six decides. <laughs> so that's all I get, and I have no opinion. <laughs> Back to you. Yeah, very good. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining in, for sure. Uh, no opinion, that's uh, an opinion. That's very good. Yeah, just whatever Patrick says, I got it. Uh, let's see. Let's. We got a couple more Illinois stations. We got Clem WRJD three five six. It's your turn. Go ahead, Clem. Good evening, and it's Clem uh, WRJD three five seven. Actually, the last number is seven. Um, you know, I don't. I don't have a good HT yet. Um, I'm listening tonight to, you know, try to decipher what I should buy. Um, I like ICOM. I'm talking on an ICOM right now, so I'll probably go in that direction. Um, back to your net control, WRJD357. Yeah, we got a 357. Sorry, I was that. HY. All right, wait, I messed up again. All right, we've got a couple more stations here. I got WRKI four zero six Jeremy in Illinois. Uh, go ahead, tell us about uh, Handy Talkies, Jeremy. Let's move over to our last uh, station in Illinois. That's going to be WRKJ uh, two eight five Sean. Okay, nothing heard there. I've got a couple Indiana stations. Let's go over to uh, Jay. WRCQ 487. Jay, I know you're there. Thank you, Nick Control. Uh, yeah, like everybody else out there, started with the bell things. Um, I did not have very good experience with them. I had three of them. Two of them pretty much failed right away. The other one I still have that I keep in a little gold bag comes in handy as a little scanner. Um, I'd say most of the people that I kind of hang around, talk with, uh, were big into the Motorola stuff. Um, so I had people that helped me to program them, kind of teach me how to do it. So uh, I'm a big fan of the HT 1250s. But uh, you know, again, like I was saying, you know, it's kind of what everybody else knows. So I kind of went with that way too. But uh, I am almost certain that Kim Woods and Icoms and all the other ones are pretty good themselves. So. WRCQ 487J. Cool, Jay. Appreciate it. And appreciate what you do on the other side as well. WR. Uh, let's go over to. Let's go over to WRCS 669, Barry in Indiana. Uh, nothing heard there. Let's go to Michelle, also in Indiana. That'd be WRJA601. Uh, it's your turn, Michelle. Good evening, everyone. Um, let's see, what do I have for HT? Um, what I'm using for GMRS for an HT is a, one of the Baofangs, the GSFA HT, and I have one of the signal stick antennas on it. I believe that was for the signal stuff. As far as for other stuff for GMR, I'm also a radio operator. Um, I'm actually running a couple of the P-Tech UV 25X2. I have one here that I'm using as a base station and one in my truck. 
That's all I've got this evening. Back to next. Yeah, thanks, Michelle. Uh, I've got a couple of those signal sticks as well. They're kind of neat. You can you can coil them up, and uh, they don't really have a memory. I forgot what type of uh, material they're made of, but uh, but yeah, I've got a couple of those as well. And it's from Signal Stuff. You're correct. I uh, appreciate that. We've got a Maryland station out there, W R E Y 907. Jim, are you with us, Jim? Uh, nothing heard there from Jim. Uh, I do have a main station, uh, WRAV269, Paul in Maine. Do you hear us? But, you know, you know, copy. Uh, was that Paul, WRAV269? If not, uh, we're going to move on. All right, we've got a, looks like a Minnesota station here, WRCU 801, Dale. Go ahead, Dale. WRCU 801 in Minnesota. I'm just uh, using the uh, BTEC HT, it's the GMRS V1, and so far it's been pretty good, WRCU 801. Yeah, thanks, Dale. Uh, yeah, I've, I've heard good stuff. You know, I've got the UV, uh, what is it, UV-82. It's basically the same thing it's built on. It's a good chassis. But I've heard good things about that radio. And, uh, yeah, uh, thanks for uh, for getting in there. We appreciate it. Uh, i got another station here in New Mexico. We've got about five New Mexico stations. Looks like WQLS, I believe. Uh, Lev, L E. WQLS203, uh, go ahead, New Mexico. All right, didn't uh, get that station in, but I got WQJI810. Russ, I know you're there, Russ. What's going on, man? Tell us about Andy Talkies. All right, Darren. Well, I'm not going to tell you much. I don't know much, but uh, I know that you totally nailed it when you brought up the uh, the red of it. I mean, Dave had one of those. I don't personally have one, but, man, we were at the, the base of Mount Lemon there, and that thing was nailing Jack's Peak far, far away, which I could not do with a handheld. And, uh, and I'm running some ICOM uh, F60V, I think they are, commercial radio, um, waterproof, Good little batteries that last a long time, but not as long as that one. So, yeah, good call on your part there. You got it nailed, man. Um, that's all I got. We'll turn it back over to you, and thanks for running in. And also, I uh, want to thank Mark for jumping in there when you uh, were having technical difficulties, man. That's good. You guys got a great team over there. WQ, JI, one zero. Yeah, Russ, that's, uh, that radio he has there is that same form factor as the... Uh uh, the DMR Islands, uh, and I forgot the model of it, uh, but it's a 10 watt handheld. Um, stick around after the net, or if 960 is there, he can just chime in and tell us what it is. But uh, um, yeah, for sure, uh, appreciate it, Russ, and uh, appreciate what you guys did to get the uh, the machine up and going down here uh, in southern Arizona. Uh, stand by, my reset for just a minute. And we'll move on to our next uh, New Mexico station. All right, let's go to the WRAN. 487, that's going to be uh, Mike. Go ahead, Mike, in New Mexico. Yep, he must be out on the beat somewhere. Let's go to uh, WREC 548, Jim in New Mexico. It's your turn.
Uh, I'm sure a few people might have heard you, Jim. Uh, we're really bad audio there. We did hear E.F. Johnson and some other things, but uh, we're going to move on here. Uh, but appreciate you uh, checking in and being part of the net. Let's go over to Andy, WRFG930 in New Mexico as well. Channel East Idaho, 930 in Albuquerque. Uh, heavy donkeys. Always got to start out. You always got to remember you can use them as mobile or a walkie talkie. So, for the new people out there, start out with an HP, the BRG 93 there. All right, very good. appreciate that, Andy. Uh, New Mexico there, WRFG930. Got it. Let's wrap up New Mexico here with uh, Gene, WRJP634, the man. Go ahead, uh, Gene. Darren? Yeah, for Andy Talkies, I have a pair of those uh, RT76Ps uh, as well. Um, in my case, I didn't have to firmware flash them, so I'm not sure what that's all about. Um, but uh, they work well for what they cost. Um, 30 bucks, yeah, they're hard to go wrong. Um, I also have an Anytone 878 ham radio. I haven't really set that one up to talk on this band, but I'm sure I could do if I wanted to. So, uh, yeah, I'll throw my uh, I'll throw my two cents in the ring for the uh, the uh, rid of this. Yeah, I like them. Um, I mean, I bought three of them, uh, but uh, evidently you could not change the tones from the touch from the from the keypad uh, without the uh, firmware update. But uh, it went pretty well. Um, luckily, uh, you know, I'm technical. I know you are as well, um, as you are the man. Uh, yeah, let's move on from Gene. We got a Nevada station there, WRAF233, Gary in Nevada. Go ahead. All right, nothing heard there. I got an Oregon station, uh, WRBM uh, 837. Gabriel, go ahead. All right, nothing heard out of Oregon there. Uh, we do have uh, WRAF, excuse me, WRFE 788, Bobby in Pennsylvania. WRFE 788, Bobby, are you there? Uh, nothing heard out of Pennsylvania. How about uh, Alberto, uh, Puerto Rico, WRFG 891. Uh, we got a PR link tonight. Uh, nothing heard from Alberto. How about uh, WRKI 767, I believe. Michael in Tennessee. WRKI 767. Go ahead, Michael. All right, nothing heard there. I got about a half dozen uh, stations here for Texas that we're going to start with, and we'll start with uh, Jeff WKRN five seven one. Go ahead, Jeff. Uh, tell us about Handy Talkies. How about you, Matt? Um, not, nothing heard there from uh, Jeff. How about WPWX six nine four Dominic in Texas? Uh, let's move over to, to WREZ914, our very own Mark. Uh, Mark, tell us about Handy Talkies. Do you own one? Yeah, thanks, Darren, for hosting the, the National there. Um, yeah, I've got these uh, both hang T, uh, the 888, uh, the little small one-watt one uh, radios that I let the kids use. Uh, we just put them on the lower FRS channels, and they work pretty good. You know, we were actually talking about it the other day, uh, just off the net, uh, just talking about um, these radios. And I started looking it up on Amazon. You can actually buy uh, battery packs for um, um, regular batteries. Uh, 
you know, we're talking about maybe keeping one in an emergency preparation kit, and we said that obviously with the rechargeable batteries, they'll leak down. But then, yeah, I looked it up. You can buy these uh, uh, battery packs that uh, you can insert regular AA batteries into um, to utilize the radio. Um, you know, and I think those uh, AA batteries have like a 10-year shelf life. So um, might be worth something uh, for people to look into, especially if they're into keeping some radios for uh, in case of emergency, throw it in your glove box or something like that, and then uh, throw in a fresh pack of batteries in it. And, uh, and then you've got a radio you can always put batteries in for an emergency. Back to you, Net Control. Yeah, thanks, Mark. Uh, on the 888, I picked up a few of those as well. Um, they feel like throwaway radios, but they work. Um, and thanks for the backup there when my uh, when <laughs> my uh, client died. Uh, let's go over to David, WRFQ344 in Baytown. What's going on, David? Tell us about HGs, man. Yeah, I have a few of them. I have uh, about three of the UV-82. Uh, the radio oddities, I have about four of those, which are the uh, uh, the GA-2S, I think. Uh, just the basic 16 channel with a little channel selector knob on top. Uh, I have a couple of the uh, of the Retivas RT-21s. Those are actually great radios, too. I use most of those for work. And then I have the UV-5Rs. And uh, the 888s actually have a set of those. So, yeah, I have quite a few of them. As far as handy talkies go, they're handy. Yeah, that's why they call them that for sure. Uh, yeah, you're another station that's got the radioddities as well. Um, yeah, thanks, uh, David, for being in there, 344. Let's go over to Quentin. Uh, Quentin, tell us, uh, WRJK797. Uh, handy talkies, I think you mentioned something earlier. This is Quentin, WRJK797 in Houston, and uh, I'm sure like everyone else, started off with some little FRS walkie-talkies, moved up to some GMRS walkie-talkies, and uh, for ham radio, I got uh, two UV5Rs. I send my wife to, uh, to work with one. She has one at her desk, and the other one I'll sometimes put in her purse so I can always get a hold of her. Then I've got uh, two uh, Yesu FT65Rs. They're Chinese-made Yesu. They're kind of like a more rugged, uh, slightly better version of the, Yesu, of the UV5R, uh, but they do have the super heterodyne receivers, so they don't get overloaded. They, uh, they have a better signal, much cleaner, and, uh, yeah, they're very rugged. And uh, today... I got a uh, short wave, long wave, medium wave uh, uh, scanner, receiver, just like a little portable radio. And uh, I also, at a flea market, found a Radio Shack Pro 97 scanning receiver, and it has a multi-system trunking and digital modes, but I have no idea how it works yet. But I'm able to listen to this net on it, so uh, it's working. Back to net control. Yeah, perfect, Quentin. I appreciate that. Sounds like you're fully involved there. Uh, yeah, and I've seen those little Yezus, uh 65 bars. That's pretty cool. Uh, appreciate you contributing. Let's go over to, uh, we got a Virginia station here uh, before we go on to Wisconsin. WQYK255. Rob, are you there in Virginia? All right, nothing heard from Rob, so we'll go over to our uh, uh, handful of uh, Wisconsin stations, and then we'll wrap everything up. We got WQYK255, Rob, or excuse me, WQJV506, Paul, in Wisconsin. Go ahead. How about Tawan, uh, WQYE931? Are you with us tonight, Tawan? Motorola CT250. 
Yeah, hey, Paul, thanks for uh, jumping in there, man. I guess I got to you guys pretty quick. So uh, I appreciate that. The MT uh, and the CT250 Motorola's, yeah, you guys always sound great. Uh, I don't know if Talon got a chance to check in, but, yeah, WQYE 931, are you still there, Talon? All right, nothing heard, then let's go to WREN 713, Rod, I believe, in an economy walk. Uh, Wisconsin, go ahead, Rod. You've been waiting, man. Thanks a lot, dear WREN seven one three. Rod here. Yeah, I've got some uh, handhelds. Uh, I've got uh, a pair of Motorola VX two sixty fours. Good quality radios. Uh, but uh, I think my favorite by far is the Anytone eight seven eight. It's such a powerful little radio. It actually uh, has the capability with GPS to have a roaming function, so you can actually go and be driving in your vehicle, and it will automatically switch repeater to repeater through the GPS function. It's it's so powerful, it's unbelievable. It's definitely next level. And if your intentions are to get a ham license at some point in the future, and you're looking at a handheld, this may be the one to purchase. WREN 713, back to net control. Yeah, hey, Rod. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll write that down. The Anytone 878 GPS roaming feature for repeaters. That's pretty cool, guys. Y'all yeah, write that down. And he mentioned the VX264 uh, Motorola handheld as well. Um, so, yeah, 878. Got it. Thanks, Rod. Always a great contribution. Let's go over to Dave, WR. K okay, seven nine six in Wisconsin. Uh, Dave, you've waited a long time. Let's hear what you got. This is Dave WRFK seven nine six. I actually just put my radio on. Can you uh, can you tell me what the topic is here? Yeah, we're talking about uh, handy talkies. Uh, really, just talking about handy talkies. So. Uh, Tell us which one you just turned on. Well, I just turned my bass on, but uh, my handy talkies I got are uh, a couple of Kenwood. They're TK360s. Uh, bought them real cheap on eBay. Pretty easy to program. You know, they got between four and nine channels. You know, uh, pretty easy to get out. I can talk on them here at the house and get the devil's head repeater over in Baraboo. So uh, thanks again for doing this tonight, WRFK 796. Yeah, sounds good, Dave. I appreciate it. I got one more station in there from Wisconsin. And, yeah, the, uh, I've got a TK380 that I was <laughs> was going to have to back up on here when the, when I blew the net at the beginning. Uh, appreciate it, Dave. Let's go to... Uh, WRFM six nine four Robert in Wisconsin. WRFM six nine four Robert in Wisconsin. Good evening, Darren. Good evening, Tom. I hope you can hear me okay. I'm I am on an HT, but I'm in a bad spot. So, so with that, yeah, I've got a few handhelds. I do have the uh, Eddie Tom D eight seven A U V. I use it for both am. Um, meter 70 centimeter and also for GMRS and then I have uh, a bunch of um, GMR radios on um, UE5Rs and GMRS1 tags that I use for the cars with uh, battery eliminators and then the UE5 for camping and for uh, you know go back. Yeah, perfect. Another vote for the 878. That sticks out for me. Um, that's it for everybody on the National Roundtable. I do have a uh, Idaho station that I believe has been trying to get in there. Uh, and, uh, you know, Idaho station, go ahead. Let's have that call sign, your name, and uh, and tell us where you're calling from besides just Idaho. Appreciate that. W-R-H-Y-3-8-3. All right, W R H Y three eight three man, you made it to the end. What's your first name? My name is Heath. I'm very new to GMRS. 
I was trying to break in, but I didn't know exactly how to do it. Uh, you were doing it right, and uh, I was just skipping past you because uh, we wanted to give everybody the chance that got a chance to uh, to check in earlier to a local or a national net. So I apologize, Heath, and I believe it's Heath W R H Y three eight three. You've waited this long, man. Uh, tell us about you know handy talkies or uh, you know anything you want, man. We'll get you we'll get you in there for sure. Any talkies I don't know about, but I'm running a handheld. Um, can't really pronounce the name, but it's a KG805G. It's about five watts. I'm from East Idaho, and my receiver is uh, about an hour away from me in Montana. So you've got the Woshan, Ushan, Oshan, WX, <laughs> the KG805G. I've heard a lot about those. And uh, um, so the repeater you're getting into is in another state, huh? Um, that's very cool. Uh, uh, Heath, I appreciate your patience, WRHY383, um, but we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Uh, got some good suggestions there. I'm sure people have jotted some things down, but uh, stand by. I'm going to reset, and we'll get a, a, a total count. All right, this concludes the National GMRS Net. We had uh, 27 people, as far as I can tell, uh, weigh in on the topic here. Um, all the nets was 152 check-ins, so um, that's really good. Uh, so uh, if you'd like to participate in this net in the future, please remember to check into the regional, a regional net first, or check in online in advance uh, via the uh, net's website at mygmrs.com slash nets. Uh, bear in mind, this net utilizes link repeaters throughout the United States that are part of the MyGMRS network. Visit MyGMRS uh, for more information on this network, its link repeaters, and the GMRS service in general. And please remember to support your GMRS community that you're part of. Um, the repeaters that you're talking on and the MyGMRS network that they're all part of does not come free easy, and uh, help is always appreciated. And in many cases, it may be tax deductible. So the National GMRS Net meets every Sunday at 6 Mountain in Arizona, 7 Central, and 8 Eastern. Hey, thanks to everybody who checked in, and, and thanks to everybody who put up with me when I couldn't figure out what I was doing earlier, uh, and the many repeater owners that make this net a reality. Um, we'll see you next time, WRC 527, uh, Darren in Tucson, Arizona, returning the repeater system back to its regular operation, and wishing everybody a good night. Uh, all right, it's all yours. Everybody, let's do a reach check. I'm poking them out. PA. We'll, uh, we'll see you next. WRDR672. Thank you, WRC527, for running the net. Good job. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, everybody, that put any work into this. No, you're right.